Page 68, Serenade. From some Schuber, Schuber, Superman thing there. I, I can't pronounce that big old word. I don't speak that language. This is a very famous vocal solo by Schubert. Franz Liszt did a famous piano solo arrangement of it. It's gorgeous. I did a performance of that on my other channel. I'll try and put a link to it. But there are many recordings of the Franz Liszt arrangement on YouTube. You go listen to the professionals play it. It's gorgeous the way it is. I'd like to point out a few things here. I'm going to start with the right hand. Right here at the beginning we have triplets. Don't you just love triplets? This is in 3-4 time. It's in the key of D minor, one flat. And these first four notes, the, the three notes in the triplet and the quarter note, all have to be even. Those four notes, bum, 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 bum. So the counting is one and uh, two and uh, three and and then you have that eighth note at the end. So now you got to go back and forth between counting one and uh, and two and three and. So it's one and uh, two and three and one and uh, two and three and one and all over the place. So these first four notes have to be even. All four of them are even. There's no hesitation or nothing in the, all of them. So it's one and uh, two and three and one and uh, two and three and one and two and three and uh. Just make sure that when you have the triplet, that the three notes of the triplet and the note afterward are all even. The four notes are even, rhythmically. That's really the toughest thing about this piece is the counting. The melodies, the top note in the right hand, and this is a very gentle piece. This is a love song. third line down, you're up here. I do a 2-5, you can do a 1-5 if you want. And then the same thing. Watch the fingering. Bottom line on page 68. 2. What's the B flats? It's 2-3. And then lift up that last note on page 68. That's a high, high D. Way and the, and the top of page 69 again the B flats you have a 3 4 on that. We want to finger the melody legato and this helps us do that. Now, the last measure of the first line there on page 69, now we have a dotted rhythm. Uh, so 1 E and a 2, 1 E and a 2 and 3 and. Now instead of a triplet, 1 and a, now it's 1 E and a, 1 E and a. So make sure that 16th note is short. Enough. Now back to the triplet. And they're giving you in the finger numbers, they're the second measure, a 3 and then a 4 in parentheses. They're telling you that's an alternate fingering. You can use 4 if you'd like. I don't like 4 on that particular B flat. I prefer 3. But I do typically use 4 on the let eighth note and come down, but you can use three there also. That's a personal preference. Then lift up, third line, very soft. And then again, just make sure that sixteenth note is short enough. You're crossing over. It's fine. And then bottom line, second measure. They're, they're saying a three or four, two, three. It's up to you. You can do a four, three, four here, or if you can reach it, you can use third finger. So you got a multiple fingerings there you can try out. Just find the one you like and stick with it, whatever it is. On page 70, you're up here. There's different fingerings for these last two notes of the first line here. You want to connect the top note, that's melody, and you can slide off, just get them even. Another way of doing it is to do 2-4 on the eighth note, and then a 1-3. It's another way of doing it. You decide what you like. The important thing is connect the melody. That's what we're after. Second line, B flat, and 
Now here, I use a different fingering here for the second line. I'd start out with one three, but then for the dotted rhythm, I use the fourth finger on the B flat, so I can use a two three on the next note. The up sharp A, and then for the eighth notes, I do a two four. Same thing in the next line. It's B natural now, but it, I still do a 5, 4, 2, 3, and then a 2, 4, and then in the last measure that's a different notes. Watch out. The left hand is just accompaniment. Keep it down. Keep it soft. And watch all these dotted half notes. You need to hold them down with the fingers. Never mind the pedal. The fingers got to do it. So at the beginning, I'm going to hold that D down for the whole measure. I got to lift up on it because I need to use fifth finger again for the B flat. That's okay. You can just lift up and move. Just hold that note down throughout. When you get over to page 69, third line, you're here. Second measure is the other way. Now you got to hold the FA down. So they switched it on you. Don't know why exactly, but they did. Okay. And that's pretty much it through the rest of it as far as the left hand goes. There's nothing tricky, I don't think, for the left hand. So let's put in the dynamics. It's soft at the beginning, and that's the melody. That's the, decide how soft you think that should be, and you make the left hand softer than that. I tend to land on that note. I, ba -da -da -da. That's an interpretive thing. Ba -da -da -da. But you, you interpret it how you see fit, but right now it's just soft. doing these phrasing I don't agree with the phrasing you can follow the phrasing I don't I'd connect all that together the phrase to me the musical sentence is in this piece is the first two lines here I connect all that together in the right hand You can lift up. It's like an echo, and then lift up again. That's the end of a phrase. Now we start the melody again. All of this is one phrase to me. Now it ends a phrase. You can lift up. And this this echo thing is very soft. Supposed to be very soft. Last measure, the first line there on page 69. Medium loud. Don't get carried away, just medium, just bring it up a little bit. And then, again, this is all one phrase, starting here to the all the second line. I connect it all together. Now, lift up. It's an echo, very soft. Start the phrase again. Now softly. And that ends a phrase right there. And this is now instead of soft, this is loud at the top of page 70. It's like the last time you're saying it, so they said it like they mean it. Then going on, new phrase. Medium loud. You just separate those eighth notes, the, the staccato with the slur just separate. New phrase here softly. The last line, retardando and get softer. Softer. And then a 
I'm gonna hold that last chord down until I get tired of it, let it fade away, you know. That's sort of the dynamics and sort of the phrasing. Now we add the pedal. Notice they're only pedaling the, like the last two beats of it. That's because we don't want to smear the triplet. We don't want to smear this. Uh uh. So I'm going to push the pedal down right after I play the notes in the second beat. And the lift up. A after I play the notes in the next measure, I want to connect it. This is all one phrase. Now I can pedal and then lift up when I play the first triplet. The left hand stays down. Now here I'm going to, now you have a choice. Different ways of interpreting this. At the end of the second line you can call that the end of a phrase and you can lift up with the hand so you get silence before you go to the next line. That's like an echo. Or you can go ahead and connect it together even though it's a different phrase, the echo, you can still connect these because it's an interpretation. It's considered. But at the end of the second measure there on the third line I'd lift up before I go on because this is a new phrase. here. You can lift up at the end of the page 68 before you play the eighth note. You could lift everything up so the eighth note is by itself even though there's not rests mentioned. You can let that eighth note fly by itself. Sometimes it's done that way. Or you can do it their way and just pedal through it. Top of page 69, into the second measure, I'd lift up because now it's a new phrase and we want a little break in the sound here. So the first line there. And I'd lift up at the end of the second line because, again, well, it's up to you. You can or try it with and without decide if you like silence there or not. So you decide whether you lift up with the hands or overlap it, lift up after you play the notes in the next measure. Do you connect them or not? If I connect them it's this way. If I put a little silence in it it's this way. Now they're not mentioning here on the third line down on the first two measures they're telling you to pedal it all. No, I think that's got to be an error. You need to change pedal at the bar line. So, here. And then I'd lift up at the end of that measure because we got a new phrase here. breaking the sound at the end of the page, lift up. If you don't, lift up after you play the notes in the next measure. Here. Then at the end of the first line on page 70 I would lift up because we have a new phrase coming. Now I know the pedal's covering up this, but use this technique for it anyway. up, keep the hands down on them, and gradually lift the pedal up and let the sound just fade out. Beautiful piece.